As I attempt to reach inside your mind, you'd be surprised at what we might find if you're willing to look inside. Inside where truth lies. Inside where truth and lies reside. Now, if today in this final hour your life was on the line and there was one decision that you, would, you could make that would determine your fate as to whether or not you would live or die, which would you choose? Would you choose your truth or would you choose your lie? I mean, deep down inside, we all have something to hide. But if the truth sets you free, there's a possibility you can truly be happy. The choice is yours. That's right. Peace. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll quote this piece because it's kind of what I do. It's my life work just to help people heal. Um, this describes the people that I work with. So, and also describes me to a degree. Maybe some of you. I don't know. It's up to you. You know. So, you'll know if it's you or not. Molestation is not normal. Molestation is not to be kept a secret. Molestation is not just part of being a woman. Molestation does not go away with shh. Don't tell. Molestation is Sitting in a jail cell 30 years later, not understanding what happened. Veins blown out from heroin gone bad. Bullet hole looking gaping holes through long worn arms, legs. Anywhere there's a vein left to inject that shit that makes it go away. For now. Molestation hits generations. Got 15 year olds walking streets, seeking fresh meat to their needs, then punished for their deeds in juvies as systematically victimized victims caught up in systems that flip them like mama's house after the eviction. Molestation got them turned out like, doing it is all I know. I ain't got no choice but to be a hoe. Plus, them niggas don't mean nothing to me. I ain't got no feelings for them. Baby girl is numb after being used like trash bags. Not glad, just sad. Depression's got her draped with no escape. Seven years of straight constant rape by three boys turning to men, mutilating her womb again and again, forcing every orifice open to perversion. Age five through 12, she went through hell. So much that she liked it, loved it, became addicted to it, scared to quit because she might die. That's what my counselor told me. She said it ain't good for me, like if I quit or something, like something gonna happen to me, like I'ma die, like I gotta keep, have, keep doing it. Plus, my caseworker, she be tricking. She be taking me to bars and stuff, she be letting me drink. She be making a whole lot of money though. I don't make that kind of money though, but she be teaching me how to do it like safe, you know? The system tricked them through tricking. And justice is stricken with demons, pimps, and bitches. The effects of molestation last longer than the act itself. It cripples, creates ripples in young minds, sending their vibes spinning in the opposite direction of right. The, the, plight of the, 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 the plight of the victim to reverse its blight seems impossible and would take a lifetime to recover from, so it seems. But she dreams big dreams and has hope to cope with the effects of dope and post-traumatic stress and she dares to overcome, refusing to give up or succumb to self-defeat. Death to flight, defyingly splendid, she becomes, appreciating every minute of life that God gave her to bring, regain the strength to stop it and drop it all in a heartbeat, unless she's looking for a sister still lost in the struggle, trying to juggle life expectancy with faith. And through it all, she chooses to love, 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 like breath is necessary. Her life depends on it. And with it, she begins to sow good seeds and do good deeds, appreciating the opportunity to live again. And of course, success is expected of the selected, the once neglected, now resurrected. One true God loves all who choose to love. Peace. <laughs> 
Keep your hands going, y'all. Keep your hands going.